Hi, everybody. Back here at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. Javon Webster here with you alongside my partner, former middleweight world champion, as always, Dangerous Dana Rosenblatt. And our co-main event coming up, Action Anthony Laureano against Angel Hernandez, the Aztec Warrior. How do you see this one playing out, Dana? You know, Laureano is a true fan favorite here in New England and here on this network. And he's pitted against Angel Hernandez, who is an all-tough move forward style great chin this this fight is going to test Loriano's ability to box under pressure the East Hartford fighter has had success in Springfield before 2016 Western New England gold glove champion at 152 pounds now as a professional he's a lot slimmer but still slick he's an undefeated fighter got a chance to see his opponent in the stare down yesterday but now it's all business with these two fighters the action this fly right after this The tail of the tape with uh, Anthony Laureano and Angel Hernandez. You can see here these guys are a great matchup because they're identical to one another between the reach, the height, the weight, the ages. They are hey, let's go, identical copies of one another. All right, let's go in the ring from our ringside announcer, Kara Castronova, to get the introductions. Fight fans in attendance. And to those watching around the world, here we go with the bout you've all been waiting for. It's time for the co-main event of the evening. It is scheduled for eight rounds of action in the super lightweight division. Live from the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts, this bout is brought to you by Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing and powered by MGM Springfield, live in New England on Nessun. Our co-main event is sanctioned by the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission. At ringside, the three judges scoring on the 10-point system are Lucy Miller, Dan Fitzgerald, and Martha Tremblay. And inside the ring, controlling the action at the sound of the bell is referee Leo Gerstel. Springfield, are you ready? trunks coming to us today with our professional record of 17 victories 14 defeats two draws 11 of those victories coming by way of knockout hailing from McAllen Texas Angel Aztec Warrior Hernandez and introducing across the ring his opponent fighting out Corner. He weighed in at 141 and a half pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 12 victories, zero defeats. Four of those victories coming by way of knockout. He is wearing the white trunks, representing East Hartford, Connecticut. The ABO Junior Welterweight Champion, the 2000. That's quite the introduction. Thank you very much, Kara. <laughs> that was exciting stuff. Action Anthony Laureano getting ready to do battle with Aztec warrior Angel Hernandez, who's been a gatekeeper in this division. Let's listen to the instructions. I want you to watch the low blows, watch the heads, watch the clinching, all right? Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. But Hernandez has been a gatekeeper in this division. He's had bouts against former world champions like Robert Easter Jr. Last time we saw him on Nessun was up against Christopher Algieri. So he's a fighter who has been in with some tough competition. This is a good test for Action Anthony. Angel Hernandez only fights the best and goes the distance with everybody. He's just a really tough, tough customer. This bout scheduled for eight rounds. Hernandez can take a complete ball. To the chin and just keep looking at you and just keep pounding away at you. Well, he Very told us, yes, and he told us 
as both guys really going for the body here early that Loriano hasn't faced a fighter like him. He feels like he's been in with better high level competition and he's going to show him. He's going to try to stop him in his backyard. East Hartford, Connecticut is where he's from. Not far from where we are here in Springfield now. He's already had some good exchanges here with Loriano where he landed some good body shots. Really no time for anybody to warm up. And I haven't seen way. anybody break out with a switch right. yet. And after weighing in yesterday, uh, Hernandez was supposed to be 142, I believe, and uh, came in at 145, or 145 and a half. Uh, they made him sweat off a little bit of weight, but I don't think they made him get down to 142. So he's a little bit heavier and a little bit stronger as a result of that. Where's Loriano? Where's Loriano on the other on the other hand? 144 and a half is what his weight was. Thank you very much. Uh, he didn't have to get down to that weight, and that makes a big difference because at the very end, at the very end of your, of your weight cut, to not have to finish the thing off, hey, makes a difference. But, but a couple of pounds made Fernandez that much stronger. We will see so far trying to impose his will. Both yes. guys trading shots. Right hand from Hernandez, and he said he wanted Loriano to fill his power. I think Loriano has, has felt his power. Good body shot there from Hernandez. See, this is what I want to see. Loriano comes back. I want to see Loriano boxing. I don't want to see him in, in there in the pocket, mixing it up with Hernandez. It's, it's a tough fight for him. And that's where he's staying so far. So far, he's fighting the Aztec Warriors fight. That's right. No need to be on the inside with him. Good Man, right eat that right hand. Hernandez going to the body, catches Loriano again with the right hand. And wide right hand that uh, Hernandez throws has landed. Has landed probably 10 times this round. Good combination there from Loriano to neutralize him. Loriano does not want to keep getting hit with that overhead right. That's a heavy shot. There he is again. So that left to the body. That took. There's the right hand right. That's what I'm talking about. Again, doesn't want to get hit with that. Loriano's got to get on his bicycle here a little bit. He's going to have to get smart. Ten seconds to go in round one, scheduled for eight. Action Anthony Loriano in a battle with the Aztec warrior Angel Hernandez. Let's take a look at some action from that last round. Here we see that right hand, overhand right from Hernandez, actually stunning Laureano a little bit, definitely getting his attention. And then we're going to take a look at that beautiful left hook to the body by Hernandez, by Hernandez again, landing on Laureano and uh, slowing up Laureano's offensive attack in that round. I gave that round to Hernandez. So far, they continue to trade here. This combination in the by middle of the ring. Yes. Here you go. Now he's starting to get into a rhythm. Is Loriano? Loriano wants to be boxing here. He does not need to mix it up. Does not need to mix it up so much with the Aztec Warrior. Aztec Warrior going to be able to test his fitness here, throwing a lot of punches in the first round. You know, he tested the fitness of Chris Algieri, and Chris Algieri, a, a, a top ten opponent right now, top 10 fighter right now. Um, and Hernandez was right there with him the, the entire time. Algeria was making a miss and stinging him. And Hernandez kept moving forward. He said Chris Algeria had next level fitness to this point in his career, called him the toughest guy he faced. He did have the, the, that, that fitness that just doesn't exist. Another thumping body shot with the left hand for Hernandez. It seems to be the punch that he's going with, but his hand's not back from Loreano. Hernandez, Hernandez very calm in there. Just he's he'll get hit with four or five shots, and he's still just staring at you. Just right left hand from Loreano. Loreano landed some solid shots there, and not really getting the attention of Hernandez. Good body shot there. Another solid exchange. What a fight here. That overhand right is there. Oh, he's going to have to protect himself from there. He's going to he's gonna have to just get his left hand up.
Short left Hot. hook from yeah. Laureano. It's not like Anthony's not landing the punches, but Hernandez is just able to take them. He's got to earn that respect, got to make him respect. Eight hours. Hours. So far, he's staying right there. Laureano digging the body. Another body shot. Neither one of these guys have any quit in them. That's what makes it such a good fight. Good uppercut from Laureano. Tries for another. Uh, nice left hook there by Laureano. Ducks out of pressure. Hernandez still able to land that right round. Good, great exchange here at the end of the fight. At the end of the round, rather. Great exchange. Take a look at some action there from that last round. Again, Laureano landed with that beautiful left hook to the body. Hernandez is just right there. Uh, you see the look on Hernandez's face when he gets hit. Not really changing his expression. I don't think he's blinking his eyes. He's eating everything. <laughs> he's eating the shots. Laureano's landing him. He's landing him, but Hernandez is taking him. Good left hook from oh, Laureano. Big left hook. Here in round three. <laughs> Laureano landing with a nice, nice left uh, right uppercut counter right there in the inside. Other uppercut to the Aztec warrior, but he's just right there. He said he has the Mexican style. Stay right in front of you, fight. He wants to trade. That's what they're doing so far. Now just from what I've seen thus far, I think Lariano needs to uh, needs to fight with Hernandez on the inside and then move him to the outside and play that game between with distance to where Laureano can keep him guessing as to where he wants to fight. If he wants to fight him on the inside or if he's going to be too far away. Using distance like that can nullify an opponent like Hernandez. So far moving really good on the inside though. All right, that's Hernandez's game is fighting on the inside. Just raking with those hooks there. Not big scoring punches, but, the, but they're, they're scoring. Right hook connects from Hernandez. Digging for that body. Uppercut from Laureano. Laureano's whacking him with that left hook, but he's not really being able to turn that left hook over and hit him solidly. That's the punch of the round thus far for Laureano. Hernandez going to the body. Laureano with a hard right hand. Again, hard right hand by Laureano over the, over the top, over the shoulder, left shoulder. Hernandez. Hernandez coming back downstairs, that left hook to the body. And I, I, I thought I thought that I saw Hernandez stop moving forward for a second. I was wrong. <laughs> Laureano misses. Good defense along the ropes, making Hernandez miss. Very good stuff there by Laureano. Gets it with a couple. Huh? Looking for the uppercut as round three is coming to a close now. Good action here from both guys to this point. Good jam by Laureano. Here we go. Laureano just cranking away with those left hooks. Hernandez getting hit by them. Ah, that was the, that was the punch of the round. That was it, it right, right there. in the forehead. That was a really, really solid shot. But you see, Hernandez not phased, and I'm not surprised at all. 
Laureano is not, not the biggest puncher, but he's, but he's a solid puncher. But Hernandez just has a chin like none other I've ever seen. Back with you live at the Mass Mutual Center. Round four scheduled for eight. Super lightweight bout between Action Anthony Laureano and the White Trunks against Angel Hernandez, the Black Trunks with the camouflage trim. Hernandez on a two-fight win streak. Those last two victories, knockout and TKO, said he wanted to build that momentum. But Laureano trying to stall his progress. Jab snaps his head back. Catches Loriano as he backs out. And Hernandez has uh, has three wins, three wins, a couple of losses since that fight with Algeri. But uh, you know, trying to get his winning ways continued here. The fight with Loriano, and uh, and he's the kind of fighter that's just going to make you grind it up. Last fight was just a little over a month ago. It's so yeah, he's, he's active. So I think this is his uh, sixth fight in 2019. So yeah, he is active. Three and two so far for. Hernandez in 2019. There you go. Anthony Loriano landing those shots. Nice combination of the body and the head. Good body shot there from Loriano. Sits on that punch and ducks out of harm's way. Yeah, this is one of those fights where if, if you're here, and if you're sitting as close as we are, you can really get a feel for what it is to be a fighter. You can just feel the thud of all the punches landing to both the body and the head oh, yeah. of each one of these guys. When you watch it on TV, sometimes you don't get that feel. Yeah, certainly. But we can see the sweat fly off the heads of both of these guys. They're really, they're really mixing up. Solid Good shot by Loriano. By yes. Loriano. Very tight. And yeah, certainly. Enjoy sitting in my seat. Absolutely. Rather than being in Other than the blood. Other than the blood in your show. I like, yeah. I like that suit, too. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. I like that suit. It's nice to have a compliment from Davis. <laughs> <laughs> nice combination to get by Loriano. Yep. Jumping out the side. Caught him with the right hand. Is he starting to box now? Hopefully for Loriano, he is starting to box. Shots landed by Hernandez right at the end of the round. Oh, wow. More about that fight in a second, but coming up, our main event of the evening, Richie Popeye the Sailor Man Rivera against Mighty Joe Jones. Rivera, 15 and 0, 12 knockouts. He has the power in both of his right and left hands. All right, once again, you look at the stats on these guys. They're, they're com common copies of, of one another, and both have a lot of power. Really looking forward to this fight. Yesterday, he talked with us. He's been active in the, the year of 2019, and Jones, just one defeat, one blemish. We'll get into more of that later, but uh, these two, Made Very for equal, one another. As Absolutely, you say. yes. But so far, we're hearing our co-feature, Action Anthony Laureano and Angel Aztec Warrior Hernandez. And it's interesting because Aztec Warrior actually just changed the moniker recently. That's the one <laughs> right. that he chose for himself. But he said people called him Hitman early in his career, so he's like, hey, it's stuck. <laughs> and then now he's like, you know what? I want to take control over my career and who I'm being called. So You know what? You know what? I, I just... Uh, I caught a look from uh, matchmaker Ron Katz, who paired these guys up. A, a beautiful match. Uh, and, and he said to me that uh, wouldn't it be great to have a punch stat in this fight to yeah. see how many blows these guys are throwing and landing. That's true. My calculations. All power shots, too. I have been keeping tally, actually. <laughs> yeah. And my calculations tell me a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just ask both of them. Exactly. I would agree. <laughs> Hernandez has Loreano now in his corner. Good short uppercut from Loreano. 
Oh. Over and right from Hernandez. And, and oh, Sorry, oh, oh, trains with another one. Right. <laughs> Same punch. Stiff shot. Oh, Loriano starting to stick him. Nice body These shot. are all solid punches that are landing. This is chin on both of these guys. A little bit of a Floyd Mayweather defense there from Loriano. Shoulder and it works, and it works for Loriano. Three punches, scoring shots for Loriano there. And these guys who both have such a high, a high punch output per round. I bet they're over 100 punches thrown per round easily because they're fighting at such close quarters. But neither one of them are loading up on their on each one shot. They're, they're exactly. throwing, they're throwing punches to be able to pace themselves somewhat and keep going throughout the eight rounds. But what a little distance wouldn't do to help. Oh, oh absolutely. Over his right, catches him with a double left hook. There's Loriano on Hernandez. A double left hook has been solid for Loriano the whole night. Hernandez looking for that right hand. See, that's what I was talking about with the distance. In the case where Loriano can land, pull back, get out of the way, Hernandez is going to lose the confidence and he can just return the punch because Loriano's not there. Exactly. So far, he's right in front of him. Good left Solid hook. shot. Solid oh, good shot. Exchange going Look at this. Look at that action. That's some good action right there. This is a furious exchange at the very end of that last round. Loriano landing those double left hooks. And here's that action right there. Wow, look at both of these guys going at one another. Both landing solid punches. Back it's live here now. Solid five seconds of toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Oh, yes. Round six scheduled for eight. This is a real fight fans fight right here. Dumping shots from Loriano to start the round. Left hook. Switches his angle. High low for Loriano. Body shot, and he's really active here in round six. Hernandez still staying right in front of him. Wow, that was Dumping a real shot. Hard left hook to the body by Hernandez. Wow. And we talked about that earlier. That's where it really hurts in the oh, solar plexus. There. That's right. Hernandez having that chip. Well, he, he really does, and he, and he uses it. Yeah, it's not necessarily, it's not a good thing, but I mean, Hernandez is able to maintain calm when he's so close to his opponent. He knows that whatever he's going to get hit by, he can take, and then he just returns the favor. More than 30 fights for Angel Hernandez, 17 of his victories, but 14 losses, and he's never been stopped in his career. And he's fought some under many, many undefeated fighters. Many fighters that are solid, solid, top 10 guys. And, you know, could never have been stopped in something special. Here we can see why. He's a gatekeeper. Just got hit with a vicious temple shot by Loriano. Loriano needs to create that distance. Create that distance so he can get some max leverage on that long right hand and some left hook. That's right, but Hernandez is, he keeps coming yeah. forward. He's not allowing him. What can he do to get some of that distance? I mean, the only thing he can really do is just hit him with a, with a stiff, stiff, stiff jab and a long right hand. But he's going to do it based on creating distance. And it's hard to create distance with Hernandez because he just keeps walking forward at you. Now he begins to jab. See, there, there you go. There's the jab. Oh. And a body shot from Hernandez. He keeps coming forward. Hasn't seemed to slow his pace since round one either. What a fun fight to watch this is. Absolutely.
Hyatt is really focusing on the body of Laureano. Action Anthony doing the same. Yep, Laureano digging to the body. Yeah. Neither one of these fighters are really getting tired. The work rate hasn't changed from the first couple of rounds. The work rate has been exactly the same. Has not. This is, what, this, is what, this is what wins Larry out of the rounds. He creates that distance, lands a few longer shots, and then you know, the, the judges are gonna, gonna see that and give Larry out of those rounds. Back here at Mass Mutual Center, a lot to dissect from that last round. Wow, do you see that right hand landed by Laureano? And you know what? It's not like it, it, it caught him in, in like not the best spot or anything like that. No, no, he hit him right in the tumble. And Hernandez just looked at him. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's just, you, you, if, you're, if you're the guy hitting, the, hitting Hernandez, you just don't like to see that. Exactly, <laughs> hate to see it. <laughs> Back here, round seven, action Anthony Laureano from East Hartford, Connecticut. 2016 New England Gold Glove champion. Back then he was campaigning at 152 pounds, a lot slimmer now as, as a professional. But he's had success in this building, winning the Gold Gloves. Nice career move for him. Not the biggest puncher. You don't want to be fighting bigger guys when you're not the biggest puncher. You know, if you, you have that ability to, to box and move, as Anthony does, you, you're going to fare a lot better fighting at the lighter weight. So far, so good. 12 and 0. Four knockouts, including a TKO victory in his last fight, a fight, excuse me, against Gian Mersu and Zhao. Last guy we saw up against Omar Bordeaux, he stopped him late in the late rounds. Stopped him in about the sixth or the seventh, I believe. And, you know, you can see a, a guy like Bordeaux really digging it out with the guy and having a solid, solid fight with him where, you know, Anthony, being a, being a bigger guy, uh, was able to, you know, take this out. Yeah. Nice combinations. Hernandez now with a few combinations of punches. Left, yeah, right. Putting them together. Hernandez stays there, though. <laughs> what a combination from Action Anthony Laureano. Hernandez is, is, is not at all afraid to get into these exchanges with Laureano. He loves it. He's got the Mexican That's style. his game. Yes, he does. That's what he says. <laughs> Sprayed with a little sweat here ringside. Laureano is tagging with three and four punches at a time. He just looks at him and throws it over him right in the left hook to the body. Those are solid shots. Those are hard punches that Hernandez is landing on Laureano. Laureano rolling with the punches now. Double left for action Anthony Laureano. On a six punch combination. Still there in the phone booth, close quarters for these two gentlemen. comes to a close. Two men know they're in a fight. A little bit of a conversation there to close the round number seven there. Let's take a look at what we've seen so far. Couple shots there. Yeah, I mean, wow. This action. And it's been a barn burner right from the beginning. You're seeing these exchanges. These exchanges are really unique exchanges because both of these guys, they, they, you, you could, they could change their trunks and change their names, and they would look, they would look basically the same. That's right. You can't tell which one's which almost. And I, I, I do believe that Laureano is getting the better of Hernandez in terms of the score. Yet, you know, the, the from just a visual aspect, it's hard to really differentiate unless you're up close, unless you're in the judges' positions. It's really difficult to get 
a, a clear indication of who's winning this fight. I was getting ready to ask you, it's one of those situations in a close yeah. fight like this, you I, ask yourself, who would you rather be? I've been scoring from the beginning, and I do have I do have Laureano up handily. I have him winning all but two rounds. All right, that's Dangerous Dana's card after this round, which is the eighth and final. We will see if the judges agree. So far, men trying to leave no doubt. Same wow, thing we've wow. seen from what round action. one. What action this is. This is amazing. Hernandez staying on him. Loreano doubles the left hip. Catches him with the right hand. Oh, these guys are both tough customers. Punch after punch after punch. Overhand right from Nobody's Laura. taking a backward step here. Still there. These guys are getting insulted at one another if they miss. <laughs> That's right. Good overhand right from Loreal. Still a nice showcase of defense. Oh, yeah. Short left oh, hook. Yeah. Showing that, showing that good defense. Absolutely. Hard right hand from Loreano. Hernandez eats the shot, and he's still right there in Here front of him. Here we go. Just toe to toe action. You just don't see fights like this. What a match! Punch after punch. Shot after shot, they're both still there. Hernandez looking, he was tiring there for a second, but then just, just a little. <laughs> then he came on. Oh, wow. The crowd's right, starting to get is into he, it. Is he getting shaken a little bit, Hernandez? Wow. It looks like he's taking a backward step. I can't believe it. First time in eight rounds. Yeah. Both of these guys working for their money tonight. What a fight. Loreano is relentless. I gotta go home and watch this on replay. I'll tell you how many punches they threw. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that call. <laughs> Unbelievable. 30 what seconds a punch to fest. go. That's right. It's been the same from round one. Hard right hand from Hernandez. And a straight right from Loreano. <laughs> Dig into the body. Jack snaps his head back. That's, that's what makes the difference. Final seconds this. for this Watch round. This, fans. Trading Here hooks. we go. Look at this. <laughs> what a way to finish. What a way to finish. What a way to finish. To finish. To finish. With action. Great action. What a fight. Center action Anthony Laureano, Angel Hernandez going the distance. Let's take a look of, at how this one went. And basically, it went the same every round, <laughs> yeah. every minute of Harvey every Cotton. round. That's right. Wow, what a fight! These guys stood in the phone booth and just traded punches, body shots, head shots. Laureano boxed a little bit more. Laureano created a little bit more distance with his punches. Used his jam a little bit more, used, using it to create the distance. And that's why I believe he won this fight. Absolutely. Earlier rounds, you, you felt like Hernandez really set the pace and imposed his will, but Loreano made the adjustments that's when he right. needed to. Made those small adjustments, landed the more meaningful punches, landed the punches at a distance much more often. And I thought that made the difference. Well, he's got the pro crowd here tonight. <laughs> it's hard for these, gold. These highlights have been going on now for at least 34, it's, 45 it's, seconds. And they look the same. Yeah, they absolutely. all look the same. Every round looks the same. What a fight. What a fight. Round eight for round one. Right, consistent throughout. Coming down right at the end of the eighth round, and look at the action. Look at the action. 24 minutes of action. And he still had some left in the tank. Yes, he, he was did. really hyped there. Yes, he did. Action, Anthony Laureano. 
Well, what a competitor. He always shows up on our network. Angel Hernandez as well. Let's get the official decision now, what the judges saw. Here's our ring announcer, Carol Castronova. Judge Miller scored the bout 79-74. Judge Tremblay scored the bout 79-74. And Cartarelli scored the bout 77-76. All for your winner and still undefeated, Anthony Action Laureano! Action Anthony Laureano remains unbeaten with a unanimous decision from the judges tonight. His record now goes to 13 and 0. Another victory for him in New England. What a fun fight to watch. Worth that's the price of admission. That's a fight fans fight. That's, that's, at that fight alone. Absolutely.